Hello guys, this is Arthur Parks and welcome to my channel. For today's video, gagawa ko ng um, weekend life of a Pinoy earner. So, we're starting a new job here in Fort Wayne. I'm still gonna work in the emergency room, but this time around, it's a full-time position. So, we have a five-day orientation. It's gonna be from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Right now, it's 7.30, so I'll give you guys an update. So, please enjoy it. So today is day one, and yeah, maybe I'll have an update later. Hello guys. So the first thing day one, basically, it's just a sit down orientation. Um, hey, mga nag talk about mission, vision, policy, infection control, um, the glucose meter. Yung locometer setup. Habas binigayin nila yung ID badge and all. So, yeah. Medyo boring yung day one. Um, but, tomorrow it's the same time. Uh, 8 a.m. to 4. 4, 4 30. So, thank you guys. Morning guys. So, it's day two of orientation. Um, medyo inagahan ko today kasi nga kailangan mo pong mag shuttle papunta dun mismo sa venue, ganun kalaki yung hospital pero medyo inagahan ko ng 10 minutes kasi tatry ko nalang maglakad Total, malamig pero to tolerate ko naman yung lamig so exercise na rin so it's another hopefully it's not that boring katulad nung kahapon pero more on lectures na naman ulit um, hopefully makuha ko na yung badge and I meet my manager ko today. Uh, also get my schedule for upcoming weeks. Because now I'm trying to weigh kung itutuloy ko pa ba yung point three or mag PPR na lang ako dun sa isang hospital. So yeah, hopefully this is. I know this is gonna be a, an easy day, but let's see. I'll give you guys an update later. Kina-record ko kung gano'n ako kalapit sa hospital, okay? Hello guys! So, day 2 of orientation is done. It's, it's not as boring as yesterday. Kasi medyo may mga inter, interactive na mga pinawa. So, Tinapos lang yung mga web-based training and then we had a crisis prevention intervention management na course in which they're teaching you how to deal with difficult patients and all. And this is gonna be really helpful dahil sa ER ka nagtatrabaho. So, just gonna head home, relax, go to the gym ng konti and then, yeah. Day 2 is done! Three more days! Good morning, it's day 3. Medyo maaga tayo nagising kasi hindi pa ako nakapag-adjust sa morning shift. So, I woke up 5.15 and it's now currently 6.0 then. Yan. So, medyo nakapag-kapi na tayo, nakapag-light breakfast and all. And, yeah, day 3, I think this is gonna be the same, like, stuff that we're going to do. Kahapon, medyo marami na akong natapos dun sa web-based training. So, most likely, tutuloy lang yun. Tapos may mga lecture. Mga karamihan mga lecture. So, I mean, pretty boring but 
just need to appreciate that you have this like orientation you're getting paid just to listen so that's the good stuff and the thing is i already got my schedule until the end of my apprenticeship so hanggang april siya so at least makakapagplano na ako kung ano yung mga pwede kong i-pick up na shift dun sa kabilang hospital and what i like about it is i have a preceptor so nasa trading mode din naman ako pero the good thing is meron na akong at least idea kung anong gagawin hindi ka tuloy na start ako dun sa kabila na hindi talaga ako hindi ko alam kung paano maging nurse so I'm pretty confident uh, but again be confident pero wag wag maranong pag hindi mo alam gawin yung isang procedure always ask I'll give you guys an update later tatry ko ding i-video yung way ko from here going to the hospital kasi sobrang lapit lang kahapon tinry ko pero bumagsak yung telepon ako sa yung ako naman accident so I'll give you guys an update later and yep bye bye Hey guys, so day three, uh, orientation. Tara, pasok na tayo. It's a beautiful day. Kailangan nyo talaga na mag-isig ng maaga, start nyo na yung car nyo kaagad. Dahil hindi, ganyan ka kapal yung yellow overnight. Yep. So, this is me trying to record yung wake up papunta ng hospital. If you notice, Sobrang bilis lang talaga as in from the time na pumasok ka sa sasakyan mo hanggang dun mismo sa parking lot it would only take you like 2-3 minutes um, medyo matagal lang matagal lang ng kodi naging parang 4 or 5 yan kasi nag, nag stop light pero kung kunyari dire direct yung green then mabilis kayo maharating sa hospital So, ito lang yung challenge dito dahil kung sakaling umuulan or sobrang lamig, kailangan mo talagang maglakad papunta sa papunta. May mga shuttle service naman pero well, kaya kaya na maglakad. So, yeah. Lakad tayo. Mga 3 minutes walk lang naman. Good morning. 
morning guys. It's day 4 orientation. Well, kahapon same same thing. Medyo boring ulit kasi lahat ng web based sobrang daming web based training. Although nag nag code ano din kami nag code blue scenario won't care mga ganun. Pero karamihan kasi guys pag ganung orientation is more on like set up sa what they call this sa word or sa mga med search ganun pero sobrang bihira na for ER kasi ibang iba yung process niya pag nasa ER kayo marami kayo mga hindi ginagawa marami kayo mga hindi naman shortcut but you can get away with most of the stuff I mean not in a bad way kasi diba sobrang dami nyo kasing ginagawa so I admit na hindi rin ako ganun kagaling when it comes to like skin assessment kasi parang hindi naman namin masyadong well nakikita lang namin pero yung tapos ini-endorse namin ideally sa floor nurse pero yun so let's see uh, day 4 this is gonna be another boring day uh, karamihan Kasi malapit ko na matapos yung web-based training ko, so I'm not sure kung ano nga ko today, but I'll give you guys an update. Good morning guys, so it's day 5. Uh, kahapon, nakuha ko na yung badge ko sa ER, and then parang nag-practice lang kami ng um, what do you call this, charting. So, introduction to charting and then yung mga pumps na ginagamit. Although it's the same pumps na Alaris na ginamit, na ginagamit namin dun sa old facility. So, nothing new but ganun. So, yun. So, today is the fifth day of orientation. This is gonna be my last day. And then by Monday, I'll go ahead and start working sa ER mismo. And first three weeks, I think, I'll be working morning shift. And then after, mug night shift now. So yeah, uh, day five. I'll give you guys an update later. Bye bye. Hello guys. So day five of orientation is done. Um, kanina ang ginawa lang namin it. It's more on charting talaga. So here, what we're using is the safe net. Oh, safe net yung tawag. I think it's it's way better than. Sunrise, kasi sunrise yung ginagamit namin dun sa kabilang hospital. Pero sa ER kasi talaga ibang iba yung way kung paano kayo mag-chart. Um, yun nga, katulad yung sinabi ko, it's more click-click-click. Parang may mga checkmark lang kayo na ginagawa pag natapos yun na yung procedure. You just need to make sure that if it's a critical info, you need to document it like free form. So parang mga ganun. So, yeah, medyo... Ma maaga akong natapos um, actually around 2.30 tapos na yung yung training natapos ko na lahat ng mga web based training so I'm good to go so by Monday I'll go ahead and start 7am so morning shift tayo so hope you guys enjoy my video that's a week it's a long and boring week but you need to appreciate yung mga ganitong araw kasi pag nagkaroon kayo ng parang mga sobrang critical days, like sobrang busy na day, talagang babalikan ninyo yun, ah, nakakamiss naman yung training. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and gagawa pa ako ng additional video. So, thank you guys.